Hey there guys, it's uh, Hinkster123. Today I'm off to see Black Widow. This is a film that, a Marvel film that I've been really kind of skeptical about. I hear good things, but not amazing. So yeah, are you looking forward to this one, Angus? Oh, I can't wait, man. Can't yeah, wait. so yeah, I mean, it looks busy today, um, but we're, it's a Saturday, it's about seven o'clock. And yeah, we just went to Frankie and Benny's, which was all right. Yeah, I didn't eat my burger for the... Yeah, you didn't eat your burger. You had, like, two fucking bites, and I had to pay for it. Yeah, I don't eat a lot. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're all good to go. I'll let you know after this film. You've got to be in the studio and just tell your thoughts about it. Yeah, yeah. Might as well do that. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So Black Widow is the first entry into the Phase 4 category and to tell you the truth, out of all the Marvel films that are coming out this year, this is my least anticipated one because I was done with the Infinity Saga two years ago and I was ready to explore new territories like Shang-Chi and the Eternals. So I wasn't really up to like exploring the timeline between Civil War and Infinity War. But I was glad I watched this because we definitely dived into the backstory and the heritage of Black Widow. And she does have her own personal story, which is something different because she always just tags along in the other films. And at the same time, it's a memoriam to the character as well. I had a good time watching Black Widow. It's definitely the film to bring people back to cinema, but I wouldn't consider this to be like A tier or God tier Marvel material. The film I would consider to be like a weaker version of Captain America The Winter Soldier, which is my second favorite MCU film of all time. It has similar elements to Winter Soldier, but it's nowhere as great as that, but passable. But the film never really hits its full potential. Most people would agree that the family stuff is the best thing about this film. Florence Powell is a great addition to the MCU and I can't wait to see her again in Hawkeye. David Harbour and Rachel Wise are so good in this film and I hope to see them again because I don't think the film focuses them on enough. But watching them as a family and trying to reconnect later on is some powerful stuff. Another thing I liked and we don't really see it much in the MCU apart from the Guardians Galaxy films is that this film has an opening title sequence with, uh, with the song Smells Like Teen Spirit. I kind of digged. It's not great but I kind of like what they're going for and I kind of miss that in movies in general apart from outside the Bond films. But yeah, it was something interesting but it kind of backfires since we don't have like a ending title sequence like most other MCU films. The one thing I loved, and this is a really small scene, is when Natasha Romanoff is watching Moonraker and she quotes every line, just proves that it's her favourite film. The thing that really drags the film down for me is the main villain. The Taskmaster sucks ass. The design and the presence is great, but what you see in the trailers is pretty much what you get. And the whole twist, I kind of knew that was going to happen. I mean, of course Black Widow wouldn't kill a child. And the other main villain is not worth talking about. So overall, Black Widow is solid blockbuster entertainment, but it doesn't add anything new to the MCU. It takes elements from other Marvel movies, but doesn't really exceed on them. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, but I did like how the post credit scene actually connects to the Disney Plus shows. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Go like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what did you think of Black Widow, and where would you rank it with the other MCU films? Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.